Hi there, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Marvel Art live stream here on Instagram. Hopefully you had a chance to check out what we did over on Marvel's YouTube and Facebook and Twitter accounts. So we're, my name is Todd Nock. How are you doing? I'm a professional comic book artist, and I do a lot of comics for Marvel. I've done a lot of Spider-Man and some X-Men, mostly Nightcrawler, his solo series, more Spider-Man, Got to do some work with Deadpool and Spider-Man Deadpool. Even more Spider-Man. I'm currently doing the Gwen Stacy series, which uh, the first two issues are out right now. So make sure you check that out. It's Gwen Stacy in high school before she met Peter Parker in college. It's like Nancy Drew in the early days of the Marvel Universe. And then I've done a bunch of different variant covers of our favorite Marvel heroes and villains. So of all sorts of uh, variant covers. So um yeah, hopefully you've seen my work. Um, you can find me here on Instagram. My name is Todd Nock, N-A-U-C-K. You can check out my account. I do live streams and I post a lot of art on there. And I'm so glad you're here to hang out with us today. Maybe you had a chance to watch this illustration. We did this illustration over on the Marvel YouTube and uh, Facebook simulcast. So if you didn't get a chance to see that, swing over by their, uh, their channel a little bit later on and check out this uh, illustration that I did of Wolverine. So I did a full figure Wolverine. So um, we're doing a special Instagram live stream now where I'm going to do another illustration of Wolverine, but we're going to push in closer on his face. And I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, how I do what I do and my approach to drawing Wolverine. And um, feel free to draw along, use whatever tools you have, use whatever paper you have, and uh, let's have some fun, okay? So um, I got a sheet of six by nine uh, Bristol board here, and I'm using a red mechanical pencil. I'm using the red LEDs so you can see the general structure and uh, base drawing, the underdrawing of how I start drawing my Wolverine. And uh, then I'll come in with graphite, regular graphite pencil to go over that so you can see the details. So we're gonna start with the skull. Just start with a nice circle there. That's gonna give us the skull, the top of the head of Wolverine's uh, head. Bring some lines down here to, the, to get the sides of his head heading towards the jaw. Gonna go ahead and drop in a center line here. The center line is the center of his face. And then I can pull Kind of start to angle the face down towards his chin. And Wolverine's kind of a, a broad-faced kind of guy, not a slender-faced guy. If I make the face too slender, he'll look like uh, Doctor Strange or Mr. Fantastic. So I want to make sure I don't make his face too long and slender. I want to figure out the eye line here. So that's just kind of cutting across. Halfway from the top of the head to the chin is the eye line. So we're just going to kind of rough in an eye line, and then roughly halfway from the eye line to the chin is the nose line, and then roughly halfway from the nose line to the chin is the mouth line. So this is uh, kind of helping me set up where everything is going to be for Wolverine. This is just the start of my underdrawing. So I'm going to rough in some almond shapes on each side here for his eyes. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Todd Nock. I'm a professional comic book artist for Marvel. And they invited me to come do some art, de art demo live stream here. And so we're drawing Wolverine, classic Wolverine here for today's art live stream here on Instagram. So that's kind of where his brow would be. Is if, he had, if we could see his eyebrows, they'd be right about like that. So you want to convey the mood and the emotion of Wolverine. His ears would go right about there, though his mask will probably cover them. I just like to know where the ears are. And this nose line kind of creates the bottom part of his mask. So once I get all the shapes put in, we'll come in with the graphite pencil and we'll do the finished detail lines. So angling from the corner of his eye towards the tip of his nose, like right about that is how wide the nose part of his mask is. So his face starts to look starting to start to look a little bit recognizable in this part of the face. We're starting to get that, that mask feeling. Kind of has nostrils on each side there. 
Now pulling down from the center of the eye towards the chin, towards the jawline, kind of shows me about how wide to make his mouth. That's probably the width of his mouth right there. So, um, we're going to give him a snarl here. We're going to kind of angle it, like he's pulling one lip up in that kind of that Elvis sort of style, but a really angry, angry Elvis. Kind of like, ugh. He's just so, he's so filled with rage that his, his mouth just snarls in all sorts of, you know, in a kind of a very feral sort of growl. So we have the top lip kind of arcing up a little bit there. His nose kind of... The, the, the muscle from our nose that pulls down to our chin kind of flaring up there. Then we have the bottom lip, just like that. And then the chin here, nice kind of wide chin. A little circle there indicating where his ch chin is and kind of just adjusting his jawline here a little more square. I want it a little more square. And then I can pull from here right about, right about there kind of from the eye line, from that corner of his eye down, from here, from that little nose line, I can pull down towards his chin for the sides of his mask. Do the same for this side, so I know where that eye comes to here, so I know where to start my line for the side of his mask. So we have the jaw like that. Now we're gonna, we're just doing the head, kind of a head bust shot of Wolverine here, but we're also gonna work a hand and claw in there because what is Wolverine without his claws? Well, prior to the Weapon X program, well, I guess he had his bone claws then, so I guess he's always had his claws. Before he got those memories back, it was a mystery, and we thought his claws were only based on the, the uh, adamantium process. So we have his, his neck muscles here pulling from the side of his head towards that little center in between our, our, those shoulder bones, those shoulder bones that go like that. They pull towards that, and then we have the shoulder muscles. So this is giving me an idea of his, so he's kind of hunkered down, he's hunched over just a little bit because he's in a, in a feral sort of mode. So we're putting the shoulder shoulders a little up closer to his face, and that gives him a, a feeling of being hunkered down and getting ready to, hunkered down to throw down. All right, so how we had these little brow, parts of his brow there, we're going to pull up in a curved angle and then back down to get these iconic flares to Wolverine's mask. And then back over. Classic, classic Wolverine mask. And do the same thing, but in a mirror image on the other side. So from here, we're going to curve it up to about the same point. Then bring it back down right to about to where the ear is. And then tuck it back to his jawline. And that gives us his mask. And maybe he's kind of got his angry forehead wrinkles. So angry that the wrinkles come right through the mask. The bridge of his nose right there like that. Some of the muscles of the face kind of pulling from the bottom lip, chin. Just like that. Now, we want to put in a claw here. We're going to give him a hand and a claw. So, um, we're going to draw a little baseball shape right here near his face. It's overlapping his neck a little bit, and that's okay. We want some depth and dimension here. So we're drawing a baseball shape, which essentially is a circle. We're drawing a circle here, but I think baseball, a baseball size, I guess a baseball size circle. Maybe almost, actually this is maybe a little closer to a softball size because it's a little bit ahead of his face. And then we're going to draw in some knuckles here. And then these lines from his knuckles coming to the bottom of that circle. And a little thumb that kicks off to the side there. 
Now it's made of fist. It's made of fist like this, or I guess I should say like this. So, so his fingers are pretty much hidden and his thumb is hidden because it's tucking behind there. I will actually make the, the hand gesture I need to draw so I can look at the shapes and see how that works. If anyone just joined us here on Instagram, welcome. So glad you're here. As you can tell, I'm drawing Wolverine, classic Wolverine from the comic books. And um, my name is Todd Nock. I'm a professional artist here, and I work for Marvel drawing all sorts of comics like Spider-Man, Deadpool, and most recently, currently, the Gwen Stacy series. So now we're going to draw in the, the little uh, claw housing guards from when they come out from his arms. He's kind of got these claw housing guideline thingies. They're like little silver things that run on his, uh, the backs of his hands. And, and between each knuckle is where his claws come out. So I've angled it just right, if I did this right, to where his claws kind of go in front of his face. And it's like he's peeking one eye through, through the claws here. And so I'm just bringing these claws up, fanning out a little bit, not too much, but I'm not making them perfectly per parallel to each other. The widening of the claws there as they, they, they extend further out can create an interesting design element. It kind of fans out just subtly. Okay. And then we'll just throw in one of his shoulder stripes here and one on that side as well. And so, and then we'll have a little bit of his shoulder pad. I'm drawing the, the classic cartoon, the X-Men animated series version of Wolverine here. I think many, many people grew up on that version of Wolverine. Okay. So now that I've got my basic shapes done here with my underdrawing using this red pencil, I'm now going to switch to my graphite pencil. This is just a regular graphite art pencil, an HB lead. You can use whatever you got. Number two lead pencil works just as well. And we're going to start with drawing things that are in the foreground first. And we're going to do the nice, clean lines. So you can really see the details here. So I'm going to start with these claw housings first, because they're the most, they're in the, most in the foreground. Just like that. Then we're gonna pencil in these claws because they overlap his face. So they kind of curve just a little bit. A little bit of a reflective line right through the center there to make them look metallic. Then the next claw. Just following my guideline. Right up there. And then that little center metallic reflection. And then the last claw. Just pulling right up to the top there. And again, a little metallic reflection there, giving a sense of metal. Now for his, we're gonna keep working on his hand because it overlaps his body and face. So we're going to do each knuckle here is tucked behind the claws because the claws are in front. So we can see the knuckles. The fingers are turned towards his body, so we're not going to see them so much. We have a little bit of a thumb here that st sticks out on the side. And then down the hand 
here to the wrist. We have a pinky knuckle here we need to work in. Don't forget the pinky knuckle. Down to that kind of wrist bone right there. Maybe some wrinkles at the wrist of the glove. It's got these little banded metal stripes that go on the housing. We're gonna just put a little chrome shine on those as well, since they're silvery, chromey color. Okay, we'll come in and we'll, sh we'll shade this out in just a little bit. First, we wanna get all the line art done, then we'll do some shading. So next, we can go right to his face. Go start with his eyes. Make sure they're a nice almond shape that kind of angle down to kind of get that angry, angry vibe. And this eye is tucked in behind these two claws here. Did this for just kind of, just kind of cool. I think it just is kind of a cool look. So we just draw the parts that we would see here, peeking between those two claws. We're gonna draw the center part of his nose on his mask. Down to the center there. We just uh, follow along these mask guidelines here to get a nice clean pencil line. And over to the, the jaw line. Pulling down to the chin. There's the bottom of his chin. Let's get this other side of his mask going. So just the lines that are peeking behind the claws. Get the other side of his mask going here. Let's get some neck muscles going through here. We can now pick those lines we want. Gonna put a little shadow here under his chin while I'm working on these neck muscles, going right to his Adam's apple, just like that. Pull that other side of the neck muscle down and we have some striations of his neck muscle. Then we have that collarbone that runs right through there and that one stripe, shoulder stripe. Just gonna adjust this line here, use a little eraser, and get that, that line nice and clean. So let's finish the inside of his mask here. It just goes right across the black part, that's all black right over there. And then around to the other side, pulling down his face to his chin. So all that will be filled in black. We're gonna fill in the blacks last, shading and filling blacks for the most part, it's gonna be last. So let's uh, put the details here in his snarl. So we're doing an asymmetrical face here. So this one lip is really kicking up snarling. So we, we show the little muscle that pulls from the nose down to the mouth. Maybe a little extra wrinkle there. And then this side of the bottom lip, snarling comes over to there. We'll put a little shadow right there to show the bottom of his lip. Maybe a little bit of a line there to show that. You know that little, that little trough that runs from the bottom of your nose to your top lip? That's kind of what that's indicating right there. And let's, uh, because this is a closer up shot, we can really define his chin and how the muscles pull to show his chin. And because he's all snarly, his, his, chin, his chin's gonna kind of wrinkle up. You know how chins can kind of get wrinkly and crinkly when we uh, make an angry face? That's definitely happening for Wolverine right here. That guy has some serious chin wrinkles. Now I wanna 
something I should have done here with the, the underdrawing is I want to figure out where his row of teeth are. So we have the top teeth and the bottom teeth. And it's kind of fun to give him some almost fangs, makes him look a little more feral. Not making them too huge, but they are a bit noticeable. So we have the upper and the lower. I can just indicate some individual teeth. And then the same for this other side, indicating his teeth. Don't have to draw every individual tooth, but mostly wherever there's shadows, so on the sides and maybe towards the bottom. So really get a sense of a snarling, angry wolverine. Let's put some wrinkles in his brow to really convey that emotion. We're going to have a wrinkle right here, right at the bridge of his nose. A lot of wrinkles where the bridge of the nose and the forehead meet. Speaking of forehead, let's um, finish off the top of his skull. Just all the way around and as simple as that, remembering that the claws are in front. And then um, let's finish off the back of his neck right over here and his shoulder. Maybe that's where his right shoulder pad starts. Then we have his clavicle. and his shoulder muscles, kind of another striation from his neck. So it just, just kind of pulls this way. And then a the other shoulder stripe that matches that one. Okay, and then we had this shoulder pad thingy over here as well, but we can't see a lot of it because his arm is overlapping and that's totally okay we at least know where it is. So now we can start filling in the blacks and doing a little bit of shading here. So um, I'm just gonna work from this side, from my left to the right. So I can just come in here and just start filling in all the black. Fill it in bit by bit. If you just joined us, welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to the Instagram live art stream here on the Marvel Instagram account. My name is Todd Knopp, professional comic book artist. I draw comics for Marvel. I've drawn a lot of Spider-Man. I've drawn the X-Men series Nightcrawler, which guest starred Wolverine. I've drawn uh, some Deadpool the Deadpool 2 Too Soon miniseries and issues of Spider-Man Deadpool. And I'm currently working on the Gwen Stacy series, the, uh, the prequel to Gwen Stacy's story. Gwen Stacy, when she, the original Gwen Stacy, the Peter Parker girlfriend Gwen Stacy when she was in high school. So I'm so glad y'all are here to join us as I demonstrate how I draw Wolverine. Hopefully you're having fun if you're drawing along. Hopefully you're having fun if you're just watching. Either way, we're really glad you're here. Just working on filling in blacks of Wolverine's costume. Particularly this big black mask. There is a lot of black to fill. And there we go, that takes care of that mask. Now let's uh, kind of, because of, uh, the, the shoulder pad thingies he had back in the day, they're kind of metal. I want to think of it like chrome. So there's an open area here, which would kind of be reflecting the sky. Then some dark here to reflect the horizon around him. And then we just fade down. And that gives it kind of a metal look. The same for over here. 
Just keeping in mind the first chunk is sky, the next chunk is the horizon, and then it just fades down to um, through the ground. And you can adjust that however you want it. You can have more sky, less ground, more ground, less sky, whatever, whatever your creativity dictates. Now we're going to fill in this black stripe. And then fill in this black stripe. Let's see, let's put some uh, detail lines through here, a little bit through his brow or his forehead. Maybe a little bit there on the side. Put some cross hatching here on his neck a little bit creating kind of a fade from light to dark. Just some little extra detail lines. And let's put some, now his gloves are blue, so we're gonna have some darker colors in here because this part and this part of his costume is yellow. So um, you know how we have these striations from our knuckles that pull down to our wrist? That's what I'm gonna kind of translate here on his, the back of his glove. Maybe these, these uh, claws are casting a little bit of a shadow onto those knuckles there. Now we're gonna, we got that little bone there on the wrist, pulling to the muscles in his arms. So just some shapes like that. All right, now let me uh, sharpen my pencil so I can get the nice crisp clean line again. One second, gang. And now I'm going to put some facial hair on a uh, facial hair here on Wolverine. So I'm going to angle these little tiny hair lines in the in the direction of the shape of his chin. They're not just lines put any old direction. They actually curve around his chin. I imagine how his chin would curve and then I just follow that around. And I can make it as full of a five o'clock shadow or not as I as I, I see fit. And then I can pull this up around the shape of his face to his upper lip. And that also comes from his upper lip over to this side. And that gives him a nice fuzzy face. Not fuzzy like the beast, beast but uh, but gristly and gruff as Logan should be. Or I, I, I think he should be. He could be clean shaven if you want to make him clean shaven in your illustration. Just uh, beefing up these lines here at the tips of his claws so they... The thicker line gives a sense of stuff closer to the foreground. A thinner line gives a sense of stuff further in the background. So if we make these lines a little bit thicker, we'll really help convey that these claws are closer to us than his face. And then I take my, uh, whoa, hello, pencil. I can take my signing marker here, put my name on here and today's date, which is the 7th of April, 2020. And that is a head bust shot of Wolverine popping his claws, or at least popping uh, his claws on one hand. So um, 
there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you maybe learned a tip or trick or two. Um, if you'd like, you can see more of my art and my art live streams on my Instagram account. You can search Todd Knock here on Instagram. And also you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash Todd Knock, N-A-U-C-K, for more of my art live streams. If you enjoyed me watch, watching me draw this, maybe you'll enjoy me there as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with us here today on the Marvel Instagram account for this live stream. And uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, hope you had a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Uh, my name is Todd Knock, and I want to tell you to keep on drawing and keep having fun. Take care.